Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. That's right, brother. That's what I'm going to do. F the system! Oh, Jesus Christ! Have I done something wrong? Did I do something wrong? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't jump scare me. You know, I'm a hypocrite piece of shit. I'm sorry, I have, to, I have to tell the truth. I've been playing this game for like a half an hour straight. I haven't stopped recording once. And I think I made like, what, four episodes now? Is this the fifth episode? I have no idea. And at the end of every episode, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna play this. It's over. And it literally, like, it's like three seconds later, I'm making the intro of the next episode. I feel ashamed of myself. What's up, guys? Johnny here again with my stuff. And let's see... Uh... What this is about uh, also shameless plug leave a like subscribe to the channel uh, patreon in the description and as always share with your friends and watch the previous episodes which are pretty good if I ever get to record you know edit it and upload it which I don't know if I'm gonna upload it and edit it I, I must do it because it's very fun and it's real cool credit what this this were only people who created this game? There were so few people? That's actually pretty interesting. What is this? Wow, office, okay, this, wow. Okay, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's start again. Boss's office? Why the tree? Office clock. Okay, I'm missing. Tree don't need. Yo, I'm gonna Stop spoiling my endings. I wanna get out of here. Which is the way out of here? Stop spoiling everything. I'm not gonna read anymore. It's it's over. I want to get out of here. I want to play again. Are you serious? It was there the entire time? What is wrong with the creator of this game? Like, what is wrong with the Stanley Parable or whatever the name is? Like, seriously. Let's play again. Let's do it. I'm gonna get my mind washed. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm just gonna speed this up. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, no, Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I know what to do. I know what Stepping to do. into his manager's office, Stanley was code. once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story I legit as quickly remember the as possible, code. he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Bro, come on! I just want to play the game, seriously, man? Okay, stop this. Stop, stop, come on. I don't have patience, man. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. This is not the same. Okay, yes. <laughs> He realized I wasn't letting him finish. I like this narrator, it's kinda cool actually. Cool. 
Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. This is so scary, this is scary, this is scary. I take my cap down, I'm, I'm still watching, but I'm, like, I'm gonna be careful here. Oh, the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Of course I had the strength to find out. You know me. I'm Johnny. I'm the real Johnny. I'm not any fake Johnny. I can do this. Let's just... Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Fired, His fired. own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, when? wasn't it? When? Was it even possible? When? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the Wait, world? Were those two people who fired me? Was I the, one of those two but people? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. That's right, brother. That's what I'm going to do. F the system! Oh, Jesus Christ! Have I done something wrong? Did I do something wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't jump scare me. blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty was it over jump scare no yes. he had won. won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the immense door slowly opened Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Beat the game. I completed the game, are you serious? Should I do this again? Should next episode be the last episode? Hmm, so many questions. Yet so few answers. You wanna know? 
you gotta stay with us to find out unfortunately but remember to like subscribe check out my patreon nico forced me to mention the patreon so many times that's why i'm doing it hashtag blame it on nico anyways guys peace out and i hope to catch you guys in the next episode so bye